I was trying to film before the sunset because there is a video on Instagram by this guy, Super Buddha Fighter, who I was basically going to try to duplicate his effect because I've really been into that sort of like 8-bit video game sprite look and there's a way to achieve it with video and I kind of want to mess around with that. But I couldn't because we did our taxes and that was only supposed to be like a 30, 40 minute process. Ended up being about two and a half hours. And I'll tell you why. And I'm so frustrated with taxes because it's it reminds me so much of the time zone changes. Like daylight savings is one of these things where everybody talks about how stupid it is. And it's like, oh, well, did you know it's for farm? Yes. Okay, cool. Why do we still have it? Everyone complains about it. But then the next day, two days later, you forget about it and you don't, it doesn't even, you don't even mention it for another six months. And that's like exactly how taxes are. You'd think that every year you would get better at doing your taxes, but because it only happens once a year, it becomes this thing that you like forget how you ever did them the prior year. And you sit there and you're like, this is so stupid. This whole system is so complicated. It's so redundant. It's such a game for rich people to exploit. And then I know tomorrow after I file them, it's like, nah, I'm not going to care anymore and I'm going to move on with my life for another year. I'm not saying I'm going to do anything about it. I'm just saying I'm frustrated by it because I'm sitting here and, and let me let me be clear. The, uh, I have W-2s and those are easy enough to punch in. But unfortunately, I also get 1099 because I work contract work through video. And so I have to establish that I have a... Um, a, a business a, a that I'm a, bi a small business owner and in order for me not to get taxed out the Yahoo I have to make these deductions of all my business expenses and deduct my house and list all of these items and the whole goal is to try to make it look like you your business lost money or you broke even at best otherwise you get taxed and while obviously, you know, I, I'm honest, you find yourself exaggerating or under reporting things just so you can dial in this number. And at the end of the day, it feels like this super inaccurate charade. But that's like how the game is supposed to be played. These big companies like Uber and Amazon who claim like, well, we've never made a profit, so we never pay taxes. It's like well, that's such a bunch of BS because all taxation is at this point is this system that's develop the rules are developed by the people with power the rules are developed by the people with money and they pay these super high-end you know cpas or lawyers or whatever it might be to find every possible loophole that they can and if the, a loophole they can't find they will just create it for the next year they'll lobby to make that law they'll lobby to get these passes through so that ultimately they can create these immense losses, these immense expenses that do or do not exist is, is kind of irrelevant to the question because at the end of the day, they end up paying no taxes. So it's like, it's so overly complicated and it's on purpose. It's complicated on purpose because they, I mean, it is the most classist like possible system. And it is the one thing, death and taxes, it's like the one have to of your life is you have to do taxes if you're an American citizen. Otherwise, you get punished and penalized and all this, yada, yada. And like, how how is it possible that, you know, the the like, if you are not versed, if you do not spend your career being versed in all of the possible loopholes and the rules and the deductions and, oh, don't forget to do, even if you're just trying to do things honestly, there are so many little nuanced calculations and line expense lines that you're probably just missing because you you haven't spent 30 years as a tax attorney. And so like, it just screws over poor people. It especially screws over people, frankly, like myself, who don't, who were never taught how to do taxes. And that's that whole other thing that everybody complains about, just like daylight savings. You, know, you complain about the same, it's the same talking points every year. It's like, why is this not taught in public education? 
Why is it that we are never taught how to do taxes as an American citizen? This is the one thing you are forced to do. You know, it's like there's so much college readiness. There's so much learning about mathematics and Pythagorean theorem. And like, okay, even if you're not going to know those things and it's for developing pathways in the brain, yada, yada, can we just spend a couple hours, not even a year, just a couple hours at all in school learning about how to do your fucking taxes? It's, it is the closest thing to a direct exploitation conspiracy theory from the from the government it's like the closest one-to-one ratio you can possibly get of they don't want you to succeed right the people in power do not want the periphery the poor to become anything other than that anything on other than the only people paying taxes it's outstanding the whole thing is a charade of we already know what this number needs to be but we need you to guess what that number is so silly they already know what i made they 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 have access to what i've spent money on they have access to what i've purchased they have access to properties and assets that i own but yet i have to like pretend that i'm telling them something new and if i'm wrong then i'm i'm the you know I'm just mad because now I can't work on my 8-bit video because, you know, you've heard all the things. I need to, like, just start posting a list of all the reasons why I didn't make a video or why I'm out of time. That's a rant you don't need to hear. We're getting up early tomorrow. We're going to Canada. And you know what? I might not come back. No, I'm just kidding. Canada has plenty of issues, too. That's the... that's We're globalized. We are a globalized population. We are a globalized economy wear a globalized sickness man open your eyes bro open your eyes you gotta move to the moon normalize moving to the moon god talk about that can you even imagine when we finally do start going to space how elitist that whole thing's gonna be you, you, there's no other i don't see any other way we're going to the moon other through a, some corporate entity not at this point you think nasa you think a government organization is going to organize the funding to allow people to go to the moon for free we we already scrutinize people who are just trying to buy baby formula for their children for free tampons that's never going to be free but you think we'll go to the moon for free you think we'll colonize the moon and we can all go live up there no they're going to work you to the bone even if they say it's free then it's not going to be free you're going to be putting in the work dude they're going to make they're going to have all these mumbo jumbo economic you know, factors, GDPs. It's going to be insane. I don't want to live on the moon. I don't even want to live here. I just want to live in like a mole society, complete anarchy. I want a time machine. Take me back. Honestly, you go back to any time. It's kind of sucks. This is a pretty good time to be living in. Honestly, you know what? It's pretty dope. I can do my taxes once a year. Hell, I'll put up with, uh, I'll put up with daylight savings. It's all good. I'm warm right now. Look at this sweatshirt. Look at this sweatshirt. Somebody in like the 1500s would have just gone bananas for this thing. Look at, watch, watch, watch me do this. Watch me bring this titanium alloyed mined from the earth container full of clean drinking water that has been piped into my house. And then I'm going to pee and that waste is going to be perfectly flushed away from me. And I don't have to smell it. I don't have to get sick by it. And these are all luxuries that I take for granted as I sit here and rant about Amazon not paying taxes, about not being able to live on the moon for free. I need to pull up my bootstraps and get a job.